Hey everybody, welcome to Shape It Up. I am your host, Nicole Simonin, and I help women over 40 lose weight for the last time. If you're serious about losing weight over the holidays and would like personalized help, go to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat, C-H-A-T, and request your free consult. On today's Shape It Up Over 40, I'm continuing on with daily Thanksgiving tips, and today we're going to talk about emotional eating at Thanksgiving time. So Thanksgiving is less than a week away. How are you feeling about Thanksgiving in the way of your weight loss journey? Are you feeling defeated, maybe anxious, dread? If these or similar feelings are coming up for you, what are you thinking? Maybe you might be thinking that you're never gonna lose weight, ever, <laughs> or you're going to gain even more weight, or why the heck should you even bother with thinking about weight loss? Because once Thanksgiving hits, then it's all downhill until the new year. If this is you, listen up. You can choose to think all those thoughts and even have those feelings, but you know what the biggest action I see people take when they're in the spot? They overeat. Emotional eating has arrived just in time for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Do not get down on yourself if you fall into this category. Most people do this. I used to do this. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you. It's really, this is totally normal. But this is one reason why you haven't achieved weight loss. When I work with my one-on-one -on -one clients, we work on mindset skills that will not, that will have you not overeating and not emotionally eating without using sacrifice or deprivation. Emotional eating starts because, let's say, you're feeling anxious and you'll give in to your fears. And because you do not want to feel anxious, your go to is to overeat. In a previous podcast, I gave the analogy of feelings being like a vibration in your body and relating it to listening to a boombox. Yes, I said boombox. Hashtag 80s kid right here. <laughs> if the bass is cranked up, it's going to produce a loud, deep, booming music. If we put a thick blanket over the boombox, it will muffle the bass and the music. If you take the blanket off the bass, if you take the blanket off, the bass and the music will be loud again. So it's very similar to our emotions. When we feel a strong emotion, which is the music, and it keeps intensifying, which is the bass, we eat to muffle the feelings. We wrap that thick blanket around that boombox. But when the food passes, the emotion is still there. If we took that blanket off that boombox, the bass and the music are still playing. We need to turn off the music or play a different song. Everyone is so different with overcoming emotional eating, and it's really what I dive in with my clients when we work together, but I will leave you with this. Notice when you're experiencing an emotion and you want to overeat. See if you can name that emotion. Is it dread, anxiousness, defeat, anger, maybe frustration? Now I want you to pick an emotion you want to feel heading into Thanksgiving. Maybe it's calm, relaxed, compassionate, curious. It will be different for every person. This is exactly what I work on with my clients. So if you want to learn more, go to shapeitupfitness.com slash chat, request a consult with me, and I can help you even pick out your emotion for Thanksgiving if you schedule in the next week or so. All right, I hope this was helpful. And I've got some more Thanksgiving tips coming your way. So make sure you tune in tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow.